Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my show about great products from small companies. Now today we are taking a look at more Warhammer Age of Sigmar compatible accessories from Schooner Labs. Um, this is going to be a like really handy bunch of sort of status tracking stuff for the game round. Uh, things that apply to General's Handbook 2021 and also things from the core book for just keeping track of all those things you only do once per round um, and also all those things you only do once per game that both players have access to um, at a glance quickly and just to see which ones you've done and which ones you haven't. So things like your grand strategy, your battle tactics, um, whether or not you've used all to attack this, turn it on who, who's received an order, who hasn't. These are just designed to sort of at a glance visually keep track of that on the table and you will be ready to, uh, you know, not do what we've done many times in videos where we've forgotten units had an order or something like that and accidentally double down on your command ability. So let's show you this stuff right now and uh, you can take a look for yourself. All these accessories from Schooner Labs. There are all the lovely laser cut MDF accessories from Schooner Labs. Mark was kind enough to send along one of each for both the core book and GHB 2021. So what do we got? Well, first things we've got token reminders for what you've played and haven't played. We have dashboard reminders. And if you have one of these, you probably don't need the other. So if you're good at remembering all of your stuff, this is a one player uh, dashboard where you could put, for instance, your grand strategy at the beginning of the game. And then as you play them, you can play your battle tactics. So I've tried to do broken ranks. Actually, the one you'd probably have all done is uh, first advance. And that's everyone's first turn one. Uh, and then let's say we did monstrous takeover and then broken ranks, aggressive expansion, and finally savage spearhead. At the end of the game, you've done all of your battle tactics and you know which ones are still available to you. Uh, there's also a set for the core book stuff here. So these are the three grad strategies. So, um, or sorry, the three, uh, the battle tactics for, uh, there, Grand Strategies, I mixed them up by accident. Uh, Grand Strategies. <laughs> um, for the core book, and then these are the six battle tactics. So you've got Hold the Line, um, Sever the Head, and Vendetta for your Grand Strategies. You put it up there, and then the six from the core book for your strategy or your battle tactics as well. Um, that's one way of doing it, to mark everything. Uh, then the other way of doing it is these two dashboards. So these dashboards would show you uh, your actual rules too. So let's say I took uh, sever the head. This is the one I've taken and then my opponent's taken dominating presence. We would just tip those in and we know which grand strategy we have uh, and they can at a glance remember what it is and what it's going to be um, like affecting during the game. And then battle tactics, you actually have the description here too. So let's say I tried to conquer, control, uh, control selected um, opponent held objective, bring it down, destroy a monster, and then back and forth, aggressive expansion. And you'll know which ones you've tried and which ones you haven't just by sort of ticking them over. I really like these because they let me know what it is. I think I'll probably use this one the most though. Um, and then maybe use my dashboard as well to remember which ones I have sort of done and not done. Then we've got our turn generator, our tracker here. Your CPs up to 99. You probably never need 99, but you know, you might. And then VPs as well for your victory points over the course of the turn. You can use for who's scored the most um, secondaries as well. Uh, things like, have you done more battle tactics than your opponent and stuff like that over the course of the turn. Then we've got uh, status effects for all of the major things that you can only do once per round. So for instance, um, all of your uh, command abilities during, during the hero phase, so rally, uh, you've also got all at attack, and then you've got um, feral roar. You've got all your spell effects, so mystic shield, arcane bolt, and metamorphosis, titanic duel, stomp, smash to rubble, and roar for each of your monsters if you want to. And then you've got um, your other command stuff, so like forward into victory, whoops. Um, inspiring Presence, Unleash Hell, All at Defense, At the Double, Redeploy, uh, to mark those for the turn. And then finally, Heroic Action, Willpower, Leadership, Recovery, and Finest Hour. This is really important because you can put them next to the end to see if they've won, if they've done something. Uh, two, if they're holding something, like an Arcane Bolt, and then what it actually is. And then finally, the command abilities like Rally or All at Attack, just to remind myself that I've done that one this turn and who has it. I'm. I'm very excited about these because they're going to keep me from making hopefully a lot more mistakes. And then finally, he sent on some dials for marking areas and statuses, uh, sort of generically, and then some objective dials for uh, placing objectives, and then primary objectives for your objectives that can't be destroyed. Um, and they're all just magnetic so they can stack. They're color coded too, so you can uh, have your control marked, so player one, player two, which is kind of nice, and say, hey, I own this one, or hey, I own that one, uh, without having to flip it. And you just kind of be able to stack them to like, take them with you and carry them around. There's a whole bunch of different accessories to speed up gameplay and track all your statuses from Schooner Labs. Uh, I'll link all this stuff in the video description below so you can check it out.
So you're another great product from a small company. Now, if you know of a great product you think deserves more attention, you can have them email me at grillminiaturegames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets, and I'll put it in front of as many people as possible. Big thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Till then, I'm Ash. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.